Alright guys, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the basics of Studio One Three Artists and just kind of how to get started with it. This tutorial is going to work for pretty much any Studio One version. It might It's going to be a little bit different depending on which version you have. Like if you have two or one, it's going to be a little bit different. But if you have Studio One Three, um, I think it's called Producer, that won't matter. It's pretty much the same. So the first thing you need to do obviously is create a song. So we're going to create a new song and then we have our presets. So I'm gonna pick an empty song, but what you can do is you can get maybe, let's say if you need vocals and guitar, you pick the vocals and guitar thing. I wouldn't suggest using it for something like house techno if you're making sort of electronic music because you're probably just going to make your own presets for instruments and stuff like that because you don't, it's, the presets really don't know what you want. While as if you're only having a vocalist and a guitar, those presets are pretty much gonna be how you want them already. So I'm gonna pick empty. Let's just go for interfa so there's interfaces, and then there's the user. Uh, the user is just the type of song that doesn't matter. But the interfaces, and those are going to be what you're using for the interface. So I obviously, I have an audio box USB, which should be right here. And there's just a bit bunch of different ones depending on what you have. You can set this up in a different place that I'll show you how to set that up. So I'm going to pick empty song right now. And now we need an instrument. So let's say you started off with nothing. You go down to browse. You go to instruments tab. Presonus or whatever you want. I'm going to pick impact. I'm going to pick one of these. And now you have the little uh, drum pad. So obviously now we're going to need to record something. But I don't have anything to record with. But you hit the little record button. And then you can um, use your drum pad to then actually record the instruments. I don't think I can play it on here though. No, I can't. So we're going to ignore that. So now say we've recorded our song. Now obviously I don't have anything recorded right now, but you might want some effects. So you go to effects and then you can actually pick your own effects. So say you have a vocalist and you need um, a level meter or a limiter, so you need a limiter or you want um, an EQ on your vocals, they're right here. So you see you have vocals and then you pick which EQ you want and you drag it onto your track and now that's actually added onto here. You want to exit out, it should still be added on. And also so you don't want to record everything, you can also add loops, so I can add a folk bass right here. And I can also put an EQ on that if I want. Edit the sound. Let's just move that around a little bit just to show you how that works. And I'm not going to show you how all this works right now because I've, I've made videos on that before. So you can go check those out. Let's see what else there is. I think that's really all you need to know. Oh, of course. You need to use... So say you need to split a track. You can use the splitter tool. I have an actual tutorial on all of these. So I'm not going to go over all these in depth. But up here is your toolbar. So... Whatever you need will be up there. I'm not going to go through it again. I'll leave a link in the description maybe to the videos that you could watch to get more advanced or just go through my channel and I have tons of them already. So yeah, you have your play button here, you have your stop button here, you have a, the actual just the play button, not record button, and this is a loop. So the loop basically will allow you, if you turn it on, to loop a certain section of your actual track. So then you could... I got to get out of here this... Let's go to range tool. So basically what the loop will do is it'll allow you to loop through a certain section while you're maybe editing one section or one verse of your track. You could just listen to that one track or that one verse over and over and over again instead of having to go back to it each time. So um, I think that's all I'm going to go over for this episode, I guess. Because I don't want to get too advanced because I have other tutorials. So if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them. But yeah, thanks for watching.